Okay, the right I rule, describe by the transformation, let G be a vertical stretch by factor of 5. That's 5 times F of X, followed by a translation up 4. That's F of X plus 4 of the square root of x plus um, minus 1. So that's 5 times the square root of x minus 1, which becomes 5 square root of x minus 5, and then we can add 4, so 5 square root of x minus 1 because of that, which leaves me with b. Let g be a reflection in the x-axis, that's negative f of x followed by a translation down for units, f of x minus 4 again, or that's not again, but, um, so reflection, that's negative times 5 cube root of x minus 3, and then negative 5 cube root of x minus 3 minus 4. So negative 5 cube root of x minus 3 minus 4. Pay close attention to the details. Right, the plus sign's in the middle, the right, it stays negative here. Um, let g be a horizontal strength factor of 7, or 3 sevenths, so that's f of 7 thirds x. Um, followed by a translation, 5 units left. So that's followed by f of x plus 5. This is the tricky one, the square root of 21 times 7 thirds x is going to give me the square root of 49x because 3 goes into 21 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49. Now I have the square root of 49 times x plus 5. Keeping it in the parentheses and knowing that has to distribute, so 49x plus 245. So the square root of 49x plus 245, and that is d. Let g be a translation one unit down, so f of x minus 1, and four units left, f of x plus 4, followed by a reflection on the x-axis, negative f of x. So we write those out, and then we do them systematically. So that's negative 2 thirds, fourth root of x, plus 4 thirds minus 1, which is negative 2 thirds fourth root of x plus 1 third, because 4 thirds minus 1 is 1 third. And then that's f of x plus 4, so negative 2 thirds fourth root of x plus 4 inside plus 1 third. And then negative f of x multiplies the whole thing by a negative, so this becomes positive 2 thirds fourth root of x plus 4 minus 1 third. So it's a positive 2 thirds x, so we're looking at b or d, and it should be a negative 1 third because it distributes, so the answer is b. Okay, so use the log 4 of is a log 7 of 4 is approximately 0.712 and log 7 of 5 is approximately 0.827 to evaluate the log 7 of 25. That I can write as the log 7 of 5 squared, which I can write as 2 log 7 of 5, which is 2 times 0.827, which is 1.6454. Number 108, expand this logarithm. So the first thing I'm going to do is write this as the log base 6 of 7x to the 1 fourth power. Now that 1 fourth is going to apply to the 7 and the x. So I have 1 fourth, this is our power property, log base 6 of 7x. And then our product property says that can be the log base 6 of 7 plus the log base 6 of x, but these are in parentheses with the 1 fourth in front. So it's 1 fourth log 6 of 7 plus 1 fourth log 6 of x, because that distributes. Oh, that's 
Okay, so I did 108. Somehow I got that on the same thing. This was D. Uh, log 5. Uh, condensed means I'm going to put it together, so my coefficients become exponents. Log of x to the fifth minus log of 4 squared. Minus means division, so log of x to the fifth over uh, 4 squared, which is the log of x to the fifth over 16. So again, D. And the last four problems. Describe the transformation and then graph. We're just going to describe the transformation right now. This parent graph is 1 fifth to the x. When I subtract 5 in the top, that's a horizontal translation. Right 5. So this graph would look like this. But at this point here, the asymptote would still be at 0, would be... 5, 1, so it would be over like this. Let's see, 3 to the x. We're going to talk about our translations first. Our horizontal translation come first. So horizontal translation uh, right 1 followed by a horizontal, because it's in the exponent, so that's in the function, shrink factor of one-fourth. And then log 8 of x, 2 log 8 of negative x, that's a vertical stretch, factor of 2, and a reflection in the y-axis. When it's inside the function, it's the y-axis. This is 1, 12. This is 111, 110, and let's see, we have log base 1 half, the log, that's the parent function, so what's going on in here is a horizontal stretch, factor of 2, followed by a vertical translation, down 4, because outside that's up and down, right? Inside the function is horizontal and it's multiplied, so it's a shrink or stretch. The factor is the reciprocal when it's inside, so the factor is 2, and that makes a horizontal stretch factor of 2. And that is your entire review sheet.